Hey, today I'm gonna make a stopwatch. I have this for uh, seven, seven segment displays that I want to use. Uh, it ha they have 10 pins each and I'm going to connect them to a microcontroller and create a stopwatch. The 7 segment displays looks like this on the inside. It's just like one connector common for all the diodes on top and then on the bottom you can... Um, the bottom has e each pin is uh, going out from the 7 segment display on the bottom. So the idea is to connect, I need to make sure I don't run too much current through the LEDs in the 7 segment display, so I'm going to connect um, a resistor on top here up to uh, 5 volts. So it will be looking like something like this, here you see. Resistor up to 5 volts up here. Then on the bottom, I will connect each of these uh, bottom pins to output pins on the microcontroller. Then I can control each of the LEDs and the 7 segment display by setting uh, these pins high or low. If, if this pin is high, no current will go through this LED. If it's low, current will go through this and down to ground. Okay. So here is the complete schematic. Uh, we have a 5 volt sphere, a resistor, and we have the LEDs in the 7 segment display. And they are all connected to microcontroller down here. And to choose the right value for the resistor, I'm gonna calculate how much current I need for one LED because the, I'm thinking that I'm going to only have one LED on at the same time and then I'm gonna switch them really really really, really fast so that uh, it will look like everybody you know, like all the LEDs are lit at the same time for a microcontroller to control the 7 segment display, I'm going to use an AVR micro microcontroller. I'm going to use an Atmega32. I have this uh, ProStack microcontroller board laying around, so um, uh, I have connected the 7 segment display down here with a small resistor of 220 ohms on this side. And the next step is to make some code and test if I can make the display uh, work. So I tested one of the displays and it worked so I have now connected all four of the displays. You can see here that it's a lot of wires and it looks a bit messy. Usually I like to just make a printed circuit board when there's a lot of connections but um, it works as a prototype. Each of the displays have eight connect need eight uh, pins to be controlled, and um, the microcontroller has I think it has uh, 32 output pins, so it could be controlled. But I'm using some of the pins for JTAG, so instead I connected two and two uh, displays in parallel, and then I'm turning it, the displays on and off uh, by setting like this part here if I put this to ground the display will be disabled so I'm doing, I'm turning the, dis the display on and off and switching between them but I'm doing it so fast that you can't see that it's actually uh, switching on and off okay I spent some time developing code and I'm ready to fire it up. So let's see if we can get it to work. I have to put it here and go. Yay, it works. 